hello lovely people good morning and welcome back to my channel so in the last um tutorial i showed you guys how to make a draft of this beautiful dress here and today i'm going to take you guys to the process of joining the dress together to come out beautifully as you have seen so guys um first things first okay if you haven't watched that video please go ahead and check the link in the descriptive box you have a video of the drafts and go quickly watch that before you come back and watch this so without further much i do let's just get straight into the tutorial so i have all my panels laid out with seam allowances added so i'm just going to go ahead and then cut this out but then I am going to be cutting my tool as well for the upper part. Okay, so I'm going to be using that net to cut out my tool. Okay, so yes, so I'm going to cut four of this and four of that, two for each um, side. Okay, two for the front and two for the back because I'm going to be flipping it over. Okay, so I'm cutting all my panels out now. I'm just adding a little bit of seam allowances around the two okay so these are all my panels and definitely the skirt panel too and the front design okay this is what I have for the front okay I cut out two of these if you haven't checked the tutorial out please do that I have a separate video on how to achieve or how to cut the design in the front so um guys uh, my, my skirt has been lined with a paper stay, okay, and I have my lining here as well. Yeah, so um, normally I use black to line because they really come out very beautiful. It makes the wet look very, very profes professional. Yes, yeah, so that's why I use um, the black lining. So I'm going to go ahead and join all my panel pieces for the front and back and also as well as the yoke okay i'm going to do the same for the front as well and then guys i'm done with that okay so this are my panel pieces my <clears throat> so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to remove my zipper bulge from the back if you've been following me for a long time you know that i don't joke with my zipper bulges yeah so i'm going to do that and then the next thing is to align the yoke together and i'm going to so you can actually sandwich one into the other okay yes but i i normally prefer to do it like this and i neatly cut it out so it doesn't create any problems so um after that i'm just going to sandwich my yoke in between my bodies the main uh, bodies panel and the lining bodies so i'm just going to leave a tiny space at the sides okay just to let me uh quickly turn on my armhole area and yeah so just a little bit not too much okay so that way i'll be able to turn my armhole over with my lining so i'm going to do that for the back as well okay so i'm going to just quickly um sandwich the back as well so i'm just going ahead to pin as you can see then to pin the side as well so now that i have this i'm going to go in with my lining and finish everything neatly okay so i'm going to start closing from the right right from the armhole okay all the way to the, the neckline okay and when i'm done i'm just going to you know top stitch on that okay and i'm done right now guys this is the back my zipper taking in and my front as well 
so i'm just going to add my bra cups right now you just need to figure out the center point and pin it to the center of your bra cup and also pin that to your under bust. you need to find an appropriate bra cup for this so that it can fit up to your bust your bust point and your under bust perfectly okay yeah so um i'm just going to hold this down with my machine and so i'm going to hold all the pieces like for the main lining and the main fabric together okay with my um hemming gum or um stiff gum people some people call it stiff gum some people call it hemming gum okay so i'm going to be using that to hold my panels in place okay this has to be done professionally if you are not somebody that does this often please don't try it okay just go ahead and use thread and needle to hold your um your seam allowances inside okay so uh, right after i'm done i'm just going to sew in on the side and i am done for the top okay I'm done for the top and this is how it looks so guys if you haven't subscribed please make sure you subscribe and also for the skirt okay um, I'm going to flip this over with my lining okay and then once that is done I am done with that and I made a top stitch to hold the lining and the main fabric in place at the waistline and also back to my front design I have a detailed tutorial on this so make sure you check that out on how I, I use the panel to create my design okay so um, now that this is done now that this is done I'm just going to go ahead and then um, sandwich this in between my top and skirt okay so I'm going to be placing this on the right side okay so this is my right side and the skirt panel okay is supposed to like the flare part of this is supposed to go up whilst the top is supposed to come up all right so i'm just going to do it as as it is i'm just arranging this because this has to come up so i'm just placing it this way okay so that by the time i sandwich it this can fall the flare part can fall on the skirt directly so i'm just pinning this down okay it's quite like difficult to pin because i fused it with a, a hard stay yes yeah, so um i am done and i'm done i'm done surging as well i have searched everywhere the back so that for the center back i'm just going to hold that down hold it together and then preferably i'm going to stitch my zip okay so i'm done holding the center together and now it's time to fix my zip but before that i'm just going to you know um hold the front design that i made down to my front panel so that it doesn't move around like it is doing okay so i'm just going to pin certain portions just like it has in the main design okay so i'm just going to pin them down yeah i'm going to pin i'm going to pin it down and i'm going to hold it down with my invisible stitch okay in between the main fabric and the design in front it won't appear on the lining okay so once this is done yes you can see our dress came out beautifully like i said please watch the tutorial on how to create this front design okay i normally like my things detailed so and i didn't want this video to be long either so i went ahead to create a separate video for that make sure you check that out please do subscribe like share and comment also on the video i'll be very much appreciative of that take care guys i'm going to see you next time in my video i love you bye